Hey guys, we are gonna be having a little chat. Quite clearly, there has been a movement going on. Having the platform that I do have and having you guys here, I really wanted to be able to use this to speak out about everything going on. It's so hard to talk, I don't know. I use my channel to spread positivity, but it's pretty baseline. I don't really get super vulnerable about stuff um, or talk about personal things too much. This whole movement isn't even political, it's a matter of human rights and it's something that should be talked about more. It really has opened my eyes to my own privilege and something that I didn't even see before. So seeing this as a way to get people talking, it's definitely not just Black Square or a week on social media that was weird so that we can get back to our normal lives. I was thinking of ways that I could like integrate this um, into my channel while being respectful to the movement going on. I didn't want to go on posting like um, normal content and showing off my privilege. I wanted to show support to the African American community and to the Black Lives Matter movement and um, contribute any way possible, whether that's just spreading through anything that I'm posting. You know, of course, I'm doing my own donations, contributions, um, conversations with others, educating myself, all that stuff on my own time. But other than that, I didn't want to completely like shut down and like stop on social media. But at the same time, I didn't want to show you guys like a fake. Um, face where I'm all happy and my life's exactly the same. I am very privileged. I never face any kind of racial discrimination or anything close to what the black community faces on a daily basis. This kind of injustice is just downright. It's terrible and I want to do my part as much as I can. I want to be accountable for my actions and say that I'm learning at the same time you guys are. I never was like an activist towards anything. Now that my eyes have been more open to this and I've been like educating myself daily about this, um, I want to be able to use my platform and put my energy towards something like this. That being said, but I wanted to be able to bring this like movement onto my YouTube channel as well. All the fun revenue from this video will be donated. I figured I would do for this video other than that little PSA statement. I'm gonna be shopping some smaller businesses online run by black owners and they're gonna be like smaller businesses. Yeah, let's get started. I am gonna go on Instagram. I remember seeing a lot of people posting like Instagram slides, different small businesses to shop at and stuff. So I'm gonna try to find it. I I'm positive I've liked some. All of my likes are, <laughs> whoa. Um, okay, let's see. Also, while I'm doing this, I wanna put out there that this is definitely not the only way to support. You don't have to donate a bunch of money if you don't have money. You don't have to go shop a bunch. I know not everyone's in the position to. Plenty of other ways, simply educating yourself or spreading awareness or like having those tough conversations um, with friends and family is also equally admirable. Doing whatever you can to help. So um, here's one post. I'll make sure to post this, um, like repost this for you guys. Probably gonna do some jewelry, I think. Maybe, ooh, some fashion pieces as well. Okay, so we're gonna look at fashion. This account is super cool. I think I'm definitely gonna have to go on here. Where'd my wallet go? Also, this has nothing to do with anything, but I'm learning how to sew and I made this bucket hat. I'm really proud of it. So, I'm gonna be wearing this for the rest of the video. I think I'm also going to show you guys like a little haul once the things do come in. I will also make sure to link below like all the places I do end up buying stuff from. Girls doing tie-dyed sets. Ooh! Sold out. Is everything sold out? Ooh, swimsuit. I kinda need a new swimsuit.
little update i was taking way too long looking at all the sites and i had screen recorded for like an hour so we're doing it this way now <laughs> but um after shopping quite a bit shopping quite a bit i'm going to be getting something from this shop i don't know what yet i'll show you after but this shop is called human before handles i'll show you here human before handles and it's owned by this girl named ashley i just think she has the cutest like staple not not sta statement statement that's the word jewelry pieces i guess um because they're kind of unique i think these are really cute and um she has all these like leaf ones these are really cute too ah, i don't know which ones i'm going to choose but i've been looking into getting more like exciting jewelry pieces because i wear the same pearls and studs every day and it's a little bit boring and i've been trying to like mix it up and stuff and she has so many cool huge statements earrings and like imagine your outfit being like plain and then the earrings being like the center with like a slick back pony Ooh, so i'm just looking through some stuff here let's see i think yes statement earrings oh i think these are really cool those are i think those are really cute okay wait i'm just gonna start adding stuff don't know if this is the best idea i really like all her leaf ones too i think oh 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 yes I really want these ones. I saw these on her Instagram. I think they're adorable. These are sick. I need to limit myself. I need to spread it out. I'm thinking to limit myself to a couple pieces per site so that I can support multiple small businesses, you know? Now it's not loading. My hat is not looking quite right. Okay, I'll bring you back when I narrow it down. Okay, 20 minutes later, I'm back. I have decided I narrowed it down. So I absolutely love the trend with the safety pins. So I really like those. And I also like these because I think they're really unique and they're like flames. I think they're so cool. I could like definitely stab myself with those, but I think they're so cool. And I love these so much. I think they're so cool. But I think out of the three, I'm going to have to get rid of those ones because... I don't, they're so big, I don't think I would wear them. I'm not, like, that fancy, you know? Like, I'm stepping into statement stuff. But, you know, that's fine. It's okay. So, the next shop that I'm looking at right now is called Jazzed Up Cosmetics. It has a lot of different stuff. So, she sells a lot of, like, nails and hair. But what attracted me was all her, like, lip oils and lip glosses. And they're super, super affordable. They're only, like, a couple of dollars. So, I think I'm gonna get a bunch of different scents or flavors or whatever it's called this is her site and as you can see here she has like a bunch of different stuff i'm looking mostly at these lip glosses because doesn't that sound so good mango butter that sounds delicious and coconut oil oh that sounds good um mint and then rose hip i think i'm gonna do that let's see what else she has her ruby kisses oh she just has so many lip glosses whoa here i decided to get this pack of lashes because i wanted some more like naturally ones because i'm running out and i keep losing them and then i'm getting a couple lip glosses that are kind of like shimmery and stuff because i don't want to up my game and then i'm also getting a bunch of lip balms because they just sound really really appealing Okay, so I found this shop and I'm so in love with it. This girl like customizes all of her items and they're kind of like brandy inspired and what I really like about it is when you tap on them, you can even like customize the stuff so you can get cropped or not cropped placement of the patches. You can change the color of like almost all her items and they all come in sweatshirt, t-shirt, and tank top. I have a few things. I'm trying to like narrow it down, but I just really like it. It's like a small shop and the stuff is really affordable. It's like cheaper than brandy and you get to customize it. And you know what's crazy? There's sizes wild okay i also found this jewelry brand and i'm obsessed with it because all the stuff is super super trendy and it's also very customizable this is so cute look at that their stuff is very customizable as you can see here they have a bunch of like name slash word necklaces and you can change like the type of chain and the length and stuff which i think is really cool probably gonna get a couple things from this site as well i don't know what yet because ooh, these are so cute okay well gonna choose some things from this site so here's the thing like i thought i was done shopping but um apparently i'm not i actually saw um this youtuber i really like hannah she 
made a video similar and it's like showing black owned businesses all of hers were on etsy and i was like i didn't even think of looking on etsy so um what i did is i looked at black owned shops on etsy and they actually have like a whole site where it shows a bunch of like small black owned shop ranges from so many things they have like home lifestyle stuff um, i'm obviously attracted to the jewelry stuff so i'm actually probably gonna buy some more things hannah also mentions a lot of shops on her videos so i will link her video below as well a few that stood out to me that I believe Hannah mentioned and also are just on the Etsy like friend page First off this one called Aquarian Thought. You guys know I love jewelry. I love rings. First off, how cool is this? But on top of that they have like these hand pressed like hammered rings, which I'm really into I also really like this knot one very nice and simple very cute dainty jewelry, you know But they also have a bunch of like gemstone stuff which I thought was really cool. Like, look at all of this. Those are super neat, too. But there's this one called Aquarian Thoughts. This is just the front page. I'll leave the link, but it just has a bunch of editor's pick of black-owned Etsy shops, and there's so many to choose from. It's so cool. I will totally be linking this below, and I highly, highly recommend taking a little scroll and ponder through here. Look how cool this stuff is. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, so it's much later. I've been shopping for a very, very long time. I'm gonna have another video where I actually Actually show you the items that I got and it's gonna be like a little haul just showed you a few of the shops and like me shopping um, and just kind of wanted to speak up about movement and encourage you guys to partake in it and educate yourself and get active with it in the most positive way possible I know that a lot of stuff on social media can be kind of towards the negatives <laughs> I guess but um, you know I just want to encourage you that anything helps and Speaking up is a good thing, you know, change can't happen without change. So um, don't think that your voice or your actions are too small. Basically, um, anything helps. Uh, I'm going to continue shopping. My camera's going to die though. Um, I will be linking all the shops that I was looking at in the description as well as you should go over to my Instagram because I'm going to make a specific post for small business owned by people of color. Shopping at black owned businesses and stuff like that is a really great way to not only like shop and support smaller businesses but also um, support the black community in your everyday life. It doesn't have to be like a huge, huge change but you know, doing those small things instead of shopping at like a Forever 21 or target something like that and yeah that is all that's being said um i want to encourage you guys once again that this is a movement not just a one week thing or a one day thing thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye guys I know it's getting late now, baby.